The first step is to collect waste up to 200 kilograms per day. All kinds of organic waste are suitable feedstock for the biogas plant. For example, agriculture waste from crop harvesting activities or kitchen leftovers like potato peelings. Animal farming also generates large quantities of waste. Cattle manure, for example, pig slurry, poultry litter. The only exception is woody biomass. You can't put this in the digester. Solid waste can be collected manually. But if you're using liquid slurries, they can be piped into the digester automatically using just gravity. Use waste as fresh as possible and keep the pieces small. Anything up to two to three centimeters is fine. The next step is to feed your waste into the digester through the inlet pipe. Push it down the pipe if necessary. You can feed vegetable or fruit waste and manure straight in. There's no need to add water. However, if you're using waste with a lower water content, like straw, you will need to add some digestate or mix in some watery waste to help the processing. The homitan plant has a special stirrer to create a smooth, homogeneous mix that is easier for the plant to digest. A homogeneous mix with even temperature distribution helps the anaerobic digestion process. You should stir the system every day, a few minutes after feeding. If you're using waste that contains a lot of dry matter, it's a good idea to stir twice daily. And remember, any time you pass by, give the digester mix a stir. The microorganisms will be happy. It's best to stir your system manually. This will give you a feel for how the matter flows and behaves while it's being digested. At the heart of your biogas plant is the biodigester, which works by a natural process called anaerobic digestion. In the oxygen-free environment of the digester, naturally occurring microorganisms grow and break down your waste. As the organic matter decomposes, it releases biogas. This rises to the top of the digester. Because it's a closed system, no odour can escape. Biogas is a clean fuel consisting mainly of methane. Methane has a good energy content, or calorific value, making it a highly versatile energy source. The system produces 5 cubic metres of biogas per day, equivalent to 75 kilograms of LPG per month. It can be used for heating water, for making foods that need constant high temperatures, for cooking in restaurants, for household cooking or for generating electricity. Biogas is produced 24 hours per day. For practical reasons, it's best used on a regular daily basis, but you can always store a couple of days' worth of gas output in external bags if consumption is lower than usual, or to offset higher demand on peak consumption days. Digestate is an excellent organic fertiliser and soil conditioner. It contains the essential nutrients and micronutrients for farming and provides crops with readily available nitrogen. The digestate flows out of the digester automatically through the outlet pipe when you feed the system with waste. It looks very much like a liquid slurry and is odourless. You can use it fresh as it flows out or you can keep it in a storage tank until you're ready to use it. You can either spread the digestate as it is or separate it into liquids and solids, depending on what works better for your spreading practices. All you need is a sieve net or bag to filter the digestate. The liquid part can be used as nutrient-rich irrigation water. You can use the solid part to enrich soil. The entire cycle is a closed loop from soil to crop, to product, to waste and back to the soil.